Hey guys, hope everybody's doing okay this evening. I'm gonna do a little video for y'all. Making one of my flowers out of this mold right here. I got it from Molds and Shapes. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's the flower mold. Anyway, it's big. And this is the mold that I used to make the bowls with. So I've already got my resin mixed up. I use a brand of resin called Inkly, I-N-C-L-Y. Yes, it's foreign, but it's really clear. It has very few bubbles. And I really like it. Straight off the bat, I see something on the mold. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Looks like a little speck of glitter. Probably exactly what it is. Got it. Perseverance. Dang it. I cleaned this mold before I put it down here. I guess I didn't take my tape to it. It'll be all right. Okay. Back in action. I'm not gonna fill it real super full. I just wanna get it like to the edges. Cause I find it's easier to shape your bowl if it's not super thick. My white, this is for my white. Where I draw the petals on, I'll put it in this piping bag over here, AKA Ziploc. I'm gonna make sure I get enough white this time. Sometimes I run out, sometimes I have too much. I think that'll work. Get these edges. My resin's been sitting for a few minutes, not too long. It's not getting warm or anything. But it's about to. That's the important part of this technique here is you got to let your resin get warm especially the light, not all of it, or it really doesn't work. You just have white on color. Something's always dropping in here. Okay. Now, this white I'm mixing up is from Pouring Your Heart Out. Julie's Bloom, and it doesn't take a whole lot, a couple of drops. A little squirt. I want mine pretty white, so I might have added a little extra. Oh well. Stir it up real good. And this, you really got to get this stirred up. Really, really good. When you think you're done, stir some more. Got some stuck on the side there. I'm going to get that all scraped off too. It's still pretty opaque, translucent, one of them. But it's halfway between right and wrong. <laughs> Hope everybody's been doing all right. I'm hanging in there. My dad's not doing real good, but 
He has late stage Alzheimer's, so he's not ever going to do good. So that's a tough row to hoe, but I'm hoeing it. Got one, my grandson and my great grandbaby are in the back bedroom. Been trying to get them to go to sleep for two hours. I finally just gave up on it. Figured they'll fall asleep whenever they get tired enough. Tomorrow's the big cooking day for Thanksgiving. I don't really have to cook a lot this year. Thanks to my ex-husband and his girlfriend, they are having us again this year. I'm still reading from last year. Dad was in a nursing home and we were at Thanksgiving dinner when we got the call that he had fallen in his closet there at the facility and cut his head open had a big old gash and so we had to leave Thanksgiving dinner and go to the hospital. That was not a fun time in our lives. But he's doing better now, so I'm just popping the bowl in there. I feel my torch is running out of juice. I can hear it slowly getting weaker and weaker, so let me give it a shot. I do like my torch because it gets the bubbles popped and it can create effects. It's got to be very careful not to burn your resin or burn your mold. It's tricky. It's got to be light to the touch with that torch. And this is a new torch, so I really gotta be careful. Alrighty now, let's see. I think we're gonna go with some crazy wild colors. About a nuclear yellow. I'm gonna give it a shake. I'm I'm again using the T-Rex alcohol inks because I loved them. They are awesome. So we're gonna put this nuclear yellow right in the center. Oh, it's sparkly, look at that. And then let's do some some kind of fruit pink. Grapefruit. Yeah, let's do grapefruit pink. This must be the shimmer brand of the T Rex inks I got. Because <clears throat> they look kind of, well, the yellow definitely does. I think it's a little, a little shimmering that we found in my gloves. So thank God I had my gloves on. It's not all over me, just all over my gloves. A little on the camera. Fix that. Okay, now pink. Let's go with some orange. I do not know how this is going to turn out. You never do with resin. It may be beautiful. It may suck. <laughs> it's like I tell people, resin is a crapshoot. You just never know what you're going to get. I do like the sparkly, shimmery in these inks. Okay, now let's go with a 
firefly, which is green. Oh yeah. I like these colors. I like the sparkle. Hard to get just one drop to come out. It's wanting to come out in bobs. Okay. Now, I think, I think, around the outer edge, I'm going to go a puzzle. I don't think this purple plasma. Well, I think I'm going to go with two shades. I'm gonna go with this purple plasma, which is T-Rex, and this Ranger Alcohol Pearl Vivacious. I'm pretty sure I'm reading that right. I'm kind of spreading out the darker purple it is so dark. And I don't want it to take over. As purple will do. It will take over. We don't want that. shake this shit up. Yeah, I dropped it right on top of that dark because that dark is not moving. So we're going to give it a little. Now I'm thinking if I hope I have enough to make it all the way around with this vivacious. I think I'm going to make it. I don't like negative space in my pieces. I like it all to be colored in. So I'm going to add a few drops here and there that I think got missed. Pretty, pretty colors. Let's see what they look like once they get through dancing. That's what I call the colors in the resin. Watch them, they're dancing. They just move around from town to town. Okay, guys. While we are watching my colors dance, I'm having a big art sale this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, in my little hometown, Rye, Texas, on the corner of Highway 146 and Highway 787. I will be set up there all day Saturday and all day Sunday with my bowls, with all my pieces, and I hope that whoever can come will come. I will have all kinds of stuff, angels, pretty angels. Some snowflakes, some, not, not really a whole lot of Christmas stuff, but a whole lot of pretty stuff. So if you're interested and you're in the neighborhood, in the area, I'd love to see you, meet you, 
I'm still working on trying to get to 500 on my YouTube. I don't think I'm anywhere near there, but I'm, I'm trying. So if you guys would like to help me out by subscribing to my YouTube channel, it would definitely mean a lot to me. I know I'm just a small fry in this crazy art world, but I really would like to hit 500. That would be super awesome. So if you feel like it, and you can, help me get there. Okay, I see that these colors have just about danced out. I see something right there in front of me. Yep. Good eye. See, this has got some space right here. I'm just going to take my stick and stir it. Give it a little, give it a little stir, stir. I don't mind there being a little bit of clearage. You can see through it, but not a lot. Okay, my white's getting warm. I think I have way too much, but better too much than not enough, than too little. More is best. Okay, I'm all tied up. I'm gonna cut me a fairly small size hole. I don't like big holes. And I have a tendency to have big blobs. So we're gonna go with a small hole. I have so much in here, I've got to be careful with it. This is coming out so fast. Once I get going with it, it'll be okay, but I've got to be careful. I'm just doing my petals. Like a flower petal. Okay, if it touches the other one, in a minute I'm going to go in with it. This is what creates the 3D effect that this technique gives. And you just go back and forth and over and over until you think you've had enough. I think we're about there. Ah. Got a couple of drips there. I gotta quickly get out. Now look, you got to get these blobs out of here. These big white dots, they'll, they'll just be big blobs. So just take your stick, whatever tool you got, and just pull your line, pull it through. That'll get your blob out. It'll be more like a petal than a blob. I hate blobs, but you already know. 
So let's not let this one be a bobby one. Please, Lord. So this is how I do it. It's not that hard. It did take a lot of practice, though, I ain't gonna lie. Until I got it down. I realized it's a matter of timing and technique. <laughs> so, y'all go and give it a, give it a try. I will be back with y'all in the morning whenever I take this out of the mold. Then I'll decide whether or not <clears throat> it's going to be a bowl or it's going to be a platter. One or the other. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for all your love and comments and attention to my to my artwork it means the world to me and i hope that y'all will tell all y'all's friends to subscribe to my youtube channel that would mean a lot too <laughs> i thank y'all for watching i hope everybody has a great great thanksgiving god bless later